pi type molecular orbitals have a plane of symmetry, pi for plane, just like sigma represented cylindrically symmetrical molecular orbitals. So the pi type orbitals are going to be obtained by following our same convention. We're going to try to bring positive x axes together. We're going to, we've been rotating about z, and we've always found that to be convenient. But in this case, we're going to find that sometimes we need to rotate about y in order to get the desired outcome, the convenient desired outcome, where orbitals that are of the same sign produce a bonding interaction, whereas orbitals of opposite sign produce anti-bonding uh, interactions. And again, we can rotate either about z or about y. We just want to bring the positive x-axis together. So we're going to be looking for uh, pi-type orbitals, and here's how you can spot where there is going to be a pi-type interaction. When we have orbitals that combine in a side-by-side -side type fashion, uh, that would be uh, the 2p atomic orbitals. So when we look on sheet 1, we immediately jump down to 2py on atom 1, combining with 2py on atom 2, and the plus or minus combination on atom 2 will be the result that we're looking for. That's what we're going to work on on the next slide. We find the 2p the 2PY on atom 1 combines with the 2PY on atom 2. And if we were to go ahead and do our normal convention, rotating about Z, you can see what would happen. We would end up with rotation about Z, bringing our x-axis together. The change uh, in Y would be the direction. So Y would now go from the top of the screen, the upper right-hand corner of the screen, down to the lower left-hand corner of the screen, and the resulting orbital would look like this. So what was along the positive Y is unshaded, and after that rotation, what's along the negative Y is now shaded. Okay, so that doesn't really work with producing a, a bonding interaction. We want orbitals of the same sign, so positive 2PY, positive 2PY, the same sign, to combine in a, bind, a bonding type scheme. So what can we do? Well, instead of rotating about the Z axis, we can rotate about the Y axis. And we can still um, end up bringing positive X axes together. So if we were to rotate about the Y axis, we would end up with the y-axis unchanged, it's going to go in that direction. We've achieved the desired result. The x-axis is heading in that direction. And the z-axis now has moved in its uh, opposite direction since we rotated about y. The atom 2 atomic orbital has not changed its appearance. It's shaded in this part, unshaded toward the positive part. And now, when we combine that together, along moving x-axis together, we're left with the uh, bonding, pi-type bonding situation. So let me try to draw the plane. Uh, the plane that I'm drawing is the yz plane. And uh, if we just draw axes along atom 1 and axes along atom 2, and then we can see that when we combine this lobe and this lobe, just to recognize those, they're of the same sign on the positive region of the Y space, and so they're going to be left unshaded. And in the negative region of the Y space, there's going to be constructive overlap of negative wave function, and so that becomes shaded. And the plane of symmetry, actually, is this nodal plane, which I will draw in a different color. The nodal plane is that's the plane which runs along the x-axis, and it includes the z-axis. And that plane separates the positive wave function from the negative wave function. So I've made an attempt at drawing an, a plane perpendicular to uh, y plane. So let me just label these planes. The green plane is the x-z plane, and the blue plane is the x-y plane and those two planes are perpendicular. The green plane cuts the positive wave function from the negative wave function. That's the plane that's associated with the pi-type bonding. The pi-type anti-bonding looks like this. Here's our axes, our y-axes, shapes that, that show that there's 
no wave function in between. And in this region of atom one, that wave function is shaded. And in this region of atom two, that wave function is shaded. There's still a plane of symmetry in the uh, x, z direction that looks like that. And that plane of symmetry cuts through the nodal region where there's going to be at the new, at a change in sign of pi. The z uh, combinations, 2pz plus 2pz, 2pz minus 2pz, lead to analogous types of pi and pi star uh, interactions.